Hey what's up guys today I'm gonna show you how to make a end screen in scratch just like this so let's get started so this is like these are your projects you can just put the thumbnail here and then you can click on it then it will prompt you to click on this and here you get the link this can be used for projects that have an end like not in games but like animations and things you can also close and open this and it will not prompt if it is already open like here you can see it is not prompting anymore and it will automatically change the link I've just put random links here. So let's get started. So first of all, you need some costumes just like this. Like here I have the layout. Layout is like here we have the background. Then we have the two thumbnails. You can just put them here. And here we have some text like check out these awesome games too or awesome projects too. Then we have this pop up close sample and I've separated them like this is the background name this background then we have game one this should be in the center like you can see this is in the center and then we have game two which is in the center again we will not like place these games at this position but we'll just get the idea of what we are making so name this game one and game two then we have pop up closed and pop up open you can just modify this by like making a list called project link for all sprites click on ok and now you can just make it wider and just fit it like add an item and make it as short as possible so you can just make it shown and now you can just adjust the size just like this so i have adjusted it here and it is fitting here so i will just make it hidden and just here you can see this the box is looking good and you can just put the close the costume too so name this pop up closed pop up open so we have everything we want so let's get started with the code first of all uh, let's take an example if your game is starting at when the green flag clicked so you will just hide this when the game is running and when the game is ended or the project or animation is ended you can just broadcast message so i'm just putting it here the end so broadcast the end you can just put it anywhere when your game ends but i'm putting it here so when i receive the end so it will just hide we'll make all this with clones and a single sprite so it will hide and create clones instead so you need to make a block just make a block called build with a number input then start with another number input named start run without screen refresh should be checked click on ok and here you can see we have this block then you can make a variable called clone number for the sprite only click on ok make it hidden then you can set clone number to start then repeat and repeat build number times create clone of myself and change clone number by one so this will what this will do is, is it will create clones like you won't be able to see it but it will create clones instantly and also you can make any number of clones you want like we will have one two three and four so we have four clones and starting from zero for more explanation you can just watch this video on the screen the link is in the description or in the feature box above to know more about this block so now when i start as a clone first of all it will go to front layer and show so every new created clone will be above the previous one now go to front and show if clone number if the clone number variable is equal to one so it will be just like switch to costume background so background it is at the back of this everything We'll just put it background here first and nothing else for the background and duplicate this if clue number is equal to two it will be like pop up so first of all it will be closed so pop up close the so close one is this and open one is this and then we'll just add a forever loop fills touching mouse pointer and then you can just put your set brightness effect to negative 10 and in else set brightness effect to zero this will create a clicking effect and also you can now put the clicking function so if mouse down wait until not mouse down so it will just detect a click this is for detecting a click and now we'll just open the pop-up so we'll just put here like an fl statement inside of this if else we'll work with costume name and just an equal to operator if costume name is equal to pop up closed make sure this is exactly like this nothing even the even this capital and small is important so you have to just make sure it is the same and then you can just put your if costume name is pop up close so it will switch to costume open like pop up open and else pop up close if you click it it will open so just set build to 2 and now let's see here you can see the background is here and we have pop up we have that clicking effect when you click you can see this is open click closed so this is working perfectly fine then you can just duplicate this and switch to costume game one and also clone number should be three we have that clicking effect you can just set it to 20 to make it brighter when 
the mouse is hovered over it and instead of this you can just put here like we have created the list so it will just replace the item one of it with the link you can just paste the link here so i'm putting a random link here of my one of my projects so it is here and this will work you have to just create a item here or you can just make a script for that too if you like this script is complete make a block and just put a bracket and just put inside of it game and then you can just put type here clone number in the label and make a number input name anything you want then we have the value of game number so that will be another number input then we have the link so link click on ok and here we go you can just put inside of this and put the clone number here the game number will be like first of all join put a join one here then put game in the first one second one you can just put this one the game number you can put link here and this will work fine you can just put this block here like this and also 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 i forgot to tell you this you can just put here go to x0 and y0 or anything because our games are in the center and we want animations for that so you can just put it in the center and then you can just put their their position so i think negative 100 x and 100 y will be good you can also add them in this like two number inputs like first of all x in the label x input y in the label y click on ok and you can just put the x y here and here we go you can just put the block here clone number is 3 game number is 1 you can paste the link then x will be negative 100 y will be 100 then duplicate this clone number is 4 game number is 2 you can put another link here and then we have x will be 100 and y will be the same so i have two games for now and let's get another link so have another link for here you can see this is my one of my projects and then we have everything set up so now let's try this first of all set build to 4 and let's see and here you can see we have the games let's click on us the pop-up is not like prompting us to click on it but the link will be here one thing we have to do is just make the list shown when the pop-up is open so you can also put it like show list pop-up open when the pop-up is open in the if one and hide list in the else clean up and let's see so you can see when i click on the first one we have the link click on the second one we have the another link so this is the type of end screen now the prompting effect so the prompting effect may work like it will just flash when the prompt is on so we have to make a variable first of all make a variable called prompt click on ok for all sprites make it hidden then set prompt to 1 in the game clone thing so when we click on it it will just start prompting and also one more variable pop up open with a question mark this will tell if the pop up is open or not for all sprites click on ok make it hidden set prop pop up open like go up here put it here pop up open will be one here in the if and in the else pop up opened is zero and also put here a if statement like this if pop up opened is zero then it only it will prompt or else it won't and now you can just put it like if it is prompting and we click on it it will just set prompt to zero like this in the if one it automatically uh, turn off the prompting and for the prompting effect like the brightness flashing you can just put it like in the different script because it will just because it will be like it will be repeating so we will not be able to click on it so we'll make another script like if when i start as a clone if clone number is equal to three or any anything you have set up for the pop-up so two forever if duplicate this put it here prompt is one it will just like first of all kill your graphic effects then set then repeat 10 just to change brightness effect by 10 and duplicate this put it here and again repeat 10 change brightness effect by negative 10 in the repeat loop like here you can see this is the prompting effect we have four build and let's see so click and you can see this is prompting you can click and this is not prompting anymore and when i click on it here you can see it is prompting again when i click it is not prompting now if you change here you can see this is not prompting at all and this is working perfectly fine so this is an end screen if you want to add some animations let's see how to add that too you have to just follow me you just put here like 100 minus put here the size variable like this and then just put a divide dividing operator like this and put this like divided by three and then just put it in a plus one just like this and duplicate the size and put it here and now you can just set size to this and you can just put the value you want to set 
so we'll just put your 120 to make it bigger smoothly you will just put your 120 and we'll just put your 100 for the normal one put here in a fl statement like this just like this if touching mouse pointer and you can just go down so i'll just put it here just like this and remove this so it is in the game clone block and you can just put it here to make that effect so here you can see this is working and when you click on it prompting is working click on it prompting is working it's working perfectly fine so this is all for an end screen here you can see this looks really good you can just customize if you like this project or the assets you can just download it from the link in the description and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.